going on everybody? Today I want to talk about a technique called defocusing. It's something that you can use both when you're etching lines or also when you're doing engravings. So let's take a look. Okay, so for an illustration purposes, what I want to use as pointing out what defocusing does, I'm going to use these paint brushes. So if you look at this paint brush, this is a much thinner paint brush. And so when you go to paint a line, it will only be so thick. When you go and you defocus your laser, basically getting it out of focus, that beam is going to widen as it goes past the focal point and you end up with a thicker line, like this paintbrush. So as it goes through and it brushes through, it creates a thicker line. So I have some flags that I'm working on and I'm going to use it to etch some lines in the flag so that way I can mask and then cut them. Um, and that's one of the things that I'm gonna use it for. But I wanna show you a demonstration one on lines, and then also on some test engravings to show you what the differences are, even though you keep the settings that you're using the same. So these are my results. So I started and I did 100 millimeters a second at 35% power on my 100 watt machine. And these, so this one starts out, it is in focus, so zero offset. Then I went down four millimeters on every one of these lines. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and 24. And so nothing changed other than how far away it was from my bed or was it from the laser head. So you can see this is a nice thin line. This one gets thicker all the way down until you get to this 24 millimeters away from focal point. And you can see how it gets a nice wide line. That's what I want. That's the effect that I'm going for for these flags. And so this gives you an idea of what defocusing does. As that beam gets farther and farther down, it will continue to get wider and wider and so <clears throat> this is a technique that you can do when you're trying to etch lines and you want to get something that has a, a broader stroke, something that has a little bit thicker line. All right, so for this next test, I've got a big T here for test. And what we're gonna do is actually gonna look at the settings. So what I am doing is 200 millimeters a second, 20% power, and we're gonna put a pretty big gap in our line interval. So we're doing 0.2, so that means there's only 129 lines per inch, which is, is a fairly decent gap for an engraving. But then I'm gonna redo it as we start to defocus and show you what the differences are between the, the different settings and the different defocus. Okay, so now that we look at these engravings up close, you can see this one over here is the one that is in focus. And then you gradually lower the bed as you move down. So four, eight, 12, and 16. You can see these rough little lines in here. Those are the lines that the laser is making. And so you can see that's the space in between the passes. As you defocus, those lines become less and less pronounced. But you also get more blotted around the edges of the engraving, so you lose some of your detail. So there, there's kind of the technique between speed and time. You know, being able to get a nice clean engraving, but having those little ridges in there. But as you go out, you can get the same benefit of having a nice tight engraving, having really close line spacing, but still getting a nice smooth engraving in here. 